Falo FW06 is one of the most exciting electric scooters on today's EV market. This model is positioned as a cross between a sports scooter and a motorbike. It gets a two-speed automatic transmission, which definitely adds to the riding fun and improves control over the power delivery. With 5 kilowatts of nominal and 10 kilowatts of peak power, this scooter can clock a top speed of 68 miles per hour, while the maximum range is claimed to reach 87 miles. The 97-volt, 58-amp-hour battery pack is hidden under the body panels and is integrated into the frame. This allows the FW06 to have a narrow and sporty profile and lowers its center of gravity. For the upcoming model year, the Felo company is bringing a special racing version of the FW06 scooter to Japan. Besides the updated FW06R name, this two-wheeler is rocking a new paint job with bright decals, gets a weight reduction to 253 pounds, a slightly improved motor torque parameter of 42 pound-feet, a 0 to 31 mile per hour acceleration of 3 seconds, and a top speed of 75 miles per hour. Three-wheel scooters have always been associated with a beginner-friendly status, good maneuverability, and riding stability that provides better safety for the rider. Up to date, three-wheeled scooters were mainly available with an ICE powertrain, but this year California-based startup is planning on offering this vehicle class with a zero-emission powertrain. At first glance, X-Auto looks like an average e-scooter, however its rear part is hiding a patented leaning construction with a self-stabilizing technology. It ensures great cornering capabilities at speeds up to 45 miles per hour. In order to ensure such speed capabilities, this three-wheeled scooter is relying on a 3-kilowatt front hub motor. The energy flows to the motor from a standard 2.15-kilowatt-hour battery pack. It's good for 45 miles of riding, but if you need to cover longer distances, a dual battery setup is available too. In this configuration, the battery capacity rises to 4.3-kilowatt-hours and the range estimations double. Once depleted, you would need approximately 5 hours to restore the full battery charge. X Auto Scooter is currently available for pre-order in one of three colors, sky blue, green, and black. S1 by Silence Eco Mobility is one of the most popular electric alternatives to the 125cc class of scooters with two passenger capabilities. This model has been on the market for several years, so the manufacturer decided to reignite the interest towards it by introducing a refresh model called the S1 Plus. The changes that were introduced to the S1 Plus scooter are barely noticeable on the outside and mainly concern the technical aspects. The exterior upgrades that the S1 Plus received include gloss black detailing, new logos and branding decals, as well as a twin texture sports seat and red contrast stitching. The technical improvements, however, are much more noticeable. The scooter's motor was upgraded to a 7.5 kilowatt unit that now supports a push to pass mode. This feature would let you temporarily unlock the peak output of 9 kilowatts and the top speed of 68 miles per hour. It's exceptionally handy when you need an additional burst of power to quickly overtake other vehicles on the road. More power also meant more attention to the brake system. Now this scooter features disc wave brakes with lower weight and better thermal properties compared to the previous generation model. S1 Plus also received an adjustable suspension system, enabling you to either stiffen or soften your ride depending on your needs or preferences. As before, the power to the motor is supplied via a 5.6 kilowatt hour battery pack that's located close to the ground, thus ensuring a low center of gravity and good maneuverability. This battery unit can provide up to 85 miles of riding and can be easily removed for home charging. The complete recharging process from a standard power outlet would take between 6 and 8 hours.
Sark Cyber is yet another uprising e-mobility manufacturer from Asia that is planning on expanding to European and international markets. Their recently presented lineup comprises several models, however, we find the HC10X scooter to be the most exciting of them. The HC10X is an electric maxi scooter with a muscular design language. To be fair, HC10X looks similar to the Super Soco CT3 that we reviewed several months ago and it is still unclear what kind of business relations are established between Super Soco and Sark Cyber. The scooter's sporty performance is guaranteed by an 8-kilowatt electric motor that is hooked up to a 72-volt, 100-amp-hour battery pack. This belt-driven powertrain setup ensures a 0 to 31 mph per hour acceleration in 2.6 seconds, while the top speed is clocked at 78 miles per hour. The battery pack that is good for 112 miles of riding was strategically placed in the frontal section of this two-wheeler, thus ensuring a low center of gravity and better maneuverability. The standard configuration also includes front and rear disc brakes with ABS, LED headlights, 7-inch TFT dashboard with Bluetooth connectivity for navigation, a front camera, and a remote key. The UK-based Zap is trying to tap into the growing personal mobility market with their new i300 model. This sit-down scooter has a comfortable step-through design with a chromoly steel frame, a single-sided swing arm, and an exoskeleton seat structure. The two-wheeler is offered in four versions, Ocean, Bio, Carbon, and Launch Editions. Base models get composite bodywork that is completed using no-oven, no-autoclave technology. But if you're a fan of carbon fiber, top-of-the-line models use this material. The creators of the i300 scooter introduced as many modular components as possible. You get interchangeable front fenders, interchangeable seats, and modular options for the under-seat storage box. The drivetrain system joins efforts of a permanent magnet electric motor, rated for 14 kilowatts and 62.69 pound-feet of torque, and two battery packs hidden within the scooter's floor. These are removable and are good for 60 mile per hour speeds and 37 miles of riding. Due to the scooter's sporty credentials, it received a high performance braking setup with four piston radial mounted calipers, full floating discs, and dual channel ABS. At the same time, the smooth and comfortable riding experience is ensured by preload adjustable front forks and pushrod coilover suspension in the rear. Compared to its European and Asian counterparts, the American EV market is severely lacking representation in the segment of seated electric scooters. In order to change the situation and get ahead of other manufacturers that are planning to enter the US market, CSC Motorcycles announced their 2024 ES5 scooter. Developed as a convenient tool for getting around the city, the CSC ES5 has a traditional step-through frame design, a long seat cushion with room for two persons, a robust suspension setup, disc brakes with CBS, and aluminum wheels with tubeless tires. This 238-pound machine is powered by a mid-drive electric motor with 5 kilowatts of continuous and 8 kilowatts of peak output. When combined with a 5.58 kilowatt-hour battery setup, it can generate 177 pound-feet of torque and let you ride at speeds up to 52 miles per hour. The battery setup is represented by a set of three 60-volt and 31-amp-hour lithium-ion battery packs. The battery packs are removable for your charging convenience and can grant you an estimated riding range of 68 miles with an average speed of 31 miles per hour. The remaining battery range as well as other performance metrics could be tracked with the help of a colorful TFT instrument display. Moreover, the scooter's standard configuration includes a keyless start system, LED lamps, Bluetooth audio playback, driving recorder, and a USB interface for your gadgets. Last year, Honda announced its intent to bring 10 new electric urban mobility vehicles by 2025 and it seems that the first model of this lineup, the Honda EM1e, is already heading to dealerships. We first saw this scooter at the most recent EICMA Motor Show. 
During the presentation, Honda described their creation as a city-oriented electric scooter with beginner-friendly credentials. Once we learned the official specs for this scooter, we were surprised to see a powertrain with a 0.58 kilowatt electric motor. With 1.7 kilowatts of peak output and 28 mph speed capabilities, this scooter offers performance on par with most electric bicycles out there. Also, instead of equipping their scooter with large and heavy battery packs, Honda made an emphasis on the importance of battery swapping and introduced their newly developed mobile power pack system. This system works with lightweight 50.3 volts, 29.4 amp hour battery packs. They weigh about 23 pounds and bring up to 25 miles on a charge. The mobile power pack system is equipped with a special home charging setup that would enable you to replenish the battery charge at home in about six hours. With the installed battery pack, this scooter weighs 209 pounds and can carry the load of up to 395 pounds. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.